Okay, I've had a couple subscribers ask for videos on how to set the zero stop. So we're going to go over uh, the two methods to do that. And obviously they're going to accomplish the same thing. But um, the first is, I mean, you, this is back down quite a bit. Or at least mine was right out of the box. So even with a 20 MOA rail I think it's probably going to get you on paper but the first method would be you can go ahead and go out uh, I don't know what your zeroing method is I typically set up uh, at a short range that will have the same zero as a 200 uh, yard range um, with most of the rifles I shoot that's somewhere between 45 and 50 yards uh, when zero there, they'll be close to 200 yards, and I zero my rifles at 200 yards. So starting there, I'll get it on on paper. I'll usually remove the bolt, uh, put it in a nice firm rear bag, put it in the rear rest or even a bipod, and look down through the bore. You should be able to get uh, pretty close to center of a, a large piece of paper, and then uh, without moving the rifle, move the crosshairs down to the... Uh, the target and fire off around I'll usually then move the the reticle to that bullet hole uh, from you know again with the rifle uh, so it can't move uh, get it zeroed to where you where you aimed and then move that uh, reticle up to the bullet hole I'll usually go ahead and fire off one more at that distance and then I'll know that I'm gonna be pretty close to being on it 200 yards so uh, again one method is and the the really probably the best way is to go ahead and start with a zeroed here um, uh, go ahead and take this off Be three screws to loosen on here. And that should just come off nice and easy. Okay, so you've got it backed all the way down against the zero. You're going to loosen all these on the zero stop turret. Okay, and you should be able to then turn it with no clicks. Okay, so now you've got, it's at the zero stop. You can go ahead and zero the rifle. Um, obviously on the elevation, it's the only one with the zero stop. The windage doesn't have a zero stop. You'll make your windage adjustments, and then you'll loosen the windage turret and set it back to zero just like you normally would. Now on the elevation, you'll get it to where you want. Let's just say you had to had to go up let's say to 19 minutes so we'll go ahead and get there. Let's say it's zeroed right there you'll tighten this zero stop turret down all three of them Vortex says the spec on that's 10 inch pounds as long as you're not crazy with the Allen wrench I don't know that you're going to be able to over tighten it and it shouldn't take a lot to make that zero stop hold. So again, we zeroed and in our imaginary situation, it turned out to be 19 minutes. So you should be able to go up to wherever you're at and it should come right back down and stop right where you shouldn't go a click pass. It shouldn't go a click less. It should come right back to where that was, okay? That should be uh, it for that, and then you'll go ahead and put this outer turret just back on like you normally would. Okay, and then tighten those three screws down, and that should be it. Now I'm going to give you one more scenario. 
um, and I think the the requester is probably in this boat so let's say your zero stops right here um, maybe you didn't do what the the method I just showed you so your zero stops right here but let's say your rifle you've already zeroed it and let's say it's up here at seven minutes let's just make this up seven minutes is where it's zeroed but the zero stops clear back here at 19 uh, which would be what six under one yeah so that's where zero stop is but you have it zero to seven minutes okay what you need to do is go back to the zero stop so make sure you're all the way zeroed on the stop we'll loosen these through screws again okay now the turret or the reticle is disconnected from the zero stop so you should go to turn this over to seven and that that moved the turret which is what you had at zeroed four tighten these back down all three of them same thing 10 inch pounds again if you don't get crazy with the allen wrench it should be okay and it shouldn't really take a lot to keep it if it's if it's slipping then there's a problem with the scope so this is where you had it zeroed and using the method I just showed you it should be the zero stop now so we'll go up 13 back to 7 just go up whatever 20 stops at 7 and uh, so it's done you just go back and do what you normally would put this at the zero uh, and tighten the three outers down and you're good to go uh, that that should be it uh, either method will work um, I'm not really sure which one I would prefer I think most guys are probably gonna just do it like they normally would and be in the situation that I showed you in the second uh, how to the first one is probably the the easier because you just disconnect the zero stop right away and you move the reticle where you want it and then go ahead and set it so uh, again if you have anything specifically you'd like to see I'll try to accommodate that um, if you have any feedback or comments on this particular video, leave those in the comments section. I appreciate you watching. Have a good day.